Hi, welcome to this brief instructional video on merging PDF files. This is useful anytime you might have multiple PDFs that you would like to exist in just one larger file that contains each of your smaller ones. Here's how we do it. I have put four sample PDFs on my desktop here, and I would like them all to just be one larger one. I'm gonna start by opening one of them up. So I'll double click on this guy, and here we go. It opens right up in an application called Preview. I know this is Preview, uh, firstly because I recognize what it looks like, but also because I can see up next to the Apple menu here that it actually says Preview. Tells me the name of the application I'm using, always. If yours does not open in Preview, but instead opens up automatically in something else, go ahead and close it, and here's how you can actually force it to open in Preview. Here's, I'm gonna click on the file itself, and if I right click, or two finger click as some of you know it, I get this nice menu with some options. I'm gonna choose open with, and then from the menu that appears, I'll select preview, and then my PDF will open using preview. I'm not gonna do it again here because we already have a copy open, and I don't need two of this particular PDF. The other thing I'll note is if you have opened a PDF that is only one page long, mine is three pages long here, as you can see, uh, but if you've opened one up that's one page long, it probably will look more like this. We need that little sidebar that was there on the left side to show us our pages in order to be able to merge our PDFs. So in order to get it, if you don't have it, you can either go to the View menu and select thumbnails, which will show us each page as a thumbnail along that left column. Or I could do the same thing by clicking on this icon right up here. So I can click here and I get those same options that were under the view menu. I choose thumbnails. And now here I see these small thumbnail versions of each page in my document. Now that I have this open, I can add some more. So here's my next PDF right below. And the easiest way to do it is actually just to drag it from where it exists on my desktop into my PDF here. And you'll notice that these pages move around to make room for it. Wherever I drop this is now where it will exist in this document. I've now placed this A page into the fourth page of my PDF. I can go ahead and do the same thing with my next one, which is a B page, and I'll just drop it right here. And so now that's my fourth page, and the A has become my fifth page. And I'll even show you, instead of dragging them from the desktop, I could also do this from the Finder. If I have my Finder window open, and I know they're on the desktop, so I'll navigate to desktop, here they are. Uh, I can do this from here as well. And here is my C page. Oops, let's try that again. There we go. Can drag it. And if I let go over in the sidebar here, it's now dropped it into my file. Um, if this is not the order I want, I can click and drag any of these pages and move them to where I'd like them. And so now here I have six pages made up of what were originally four documents. In order to get this out, to be its own PDF now. All I have to do is go up to the File menu, and then I'm going to go down and simply choose Export as PDF. I can decide here where I want it to go and what I want to call it. Uh, so I'm going to say Sample Slides as one file, and I would like to put this on my desktop just for ease for right now. So here we go. Uh, if you wanna see that larger window with more options as far as where you're going, you can click this little carrot right here and it opens up and this is probably something you're used to seeing. I'm gonna go ahead and press save. And once I've done that, I now have a new PDF on my desktop here, which is right over here, sample slides as one file. And when I double click to open it up, here I go. It is now six pages of the same document.